Hi, this is Quant Mat. Welcome to my channel. So pretty often it can be interesting to backtest a strategy across uh, several time frames. In the simplest case, you want to have a signal on one time frame and just to have a confirmation from another higher time frame. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to um, create a multiple time frame backtests in Backtrader in Python. If you like my content, please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create more and better content for you. Here I have a very simple uh, strategy, a moving average cross strategy. I use it all the time in my videos. And uh, currently it works on a single time frame and logic it is very simple. When I see a uh, uh, moving average crossover, a uh, bullish crossover, I go uh, long. If I see a bearish crossover, I, go short, I, I close my long position. So it's quite simple. So uh, data I'm using here is um, one minute bars um, for Bitcoin USD from Bybit Exchange. I uh, here have like a file with entire history of what one minute bars but I use only last um, 10,000 uh, rows uh, for uh, this example. And let's assume I want to update the strategy to work on two time frames. So for example, I want to see like crossover as I see now on one minute chart, but I also want to see confirmation from a higher time frame, for example, five minutes uh, that one moving average is above uh, the other on these five minute bars. So let's go and implement that. The first thing I have to do is to calculate uh, five minute bars from my one minute data and I've had to add this to my engine. And fortunately in uh, Vectrader you can do this easily with only one command. So uh, to do that you can use uh, Cerebro uh, dot um, resample, resample data function and you need to pass uh, the data you already created with the BT feeds uh, command and just pass. And here you need to specify what time frame do you want to use. For that, you need to specify uh, two parameters. The first one is time frame. So, what will be your basically multiplier for your uh, time frame? So, I will use uh, bt.timeframe.minutes. And uh, second, um, um, second uh, parameter is compression and I will use five for that. So basically I will have five minutes uh, time frames. And then that's basically it after you uh, execute uh, this code. Basically uh, Backtrader will create uh, this data for you. It will resample it to five minute bars and will add it to your strategy as a next data source. So now let's go and uh, change strategy itself uh, so it can work with uh, multiple uh, time frames. So as I said, um, resample data function will add our resample data to, to, the, to the, our strategy as just an additional uh, uh, data source. So it's quite easy to work with, uh, in, with, with the higher time frames in, uh, in Backtrader. So first of all, I will compute um, moving averages for the higher time frame. We'll call this HT. And the only thing I need to do here, and you just need to specify that I want to calculate that on self.data1. So it's quite simple. And uh, so I calculated to moving average on higher time frame. So now I will create a self a dot, um, let's call this above a, a variable, and let's just check that fast moving average is above slow moving average. So it's quite easy as, as, as that. And here you can just take this variable and just add to your, um, your condition in the next uh, function. And nicest part is that, that actually it will just kind of propagate the data from higher time frame on the lower time frame. So you don't need to worry about anything. It will work like that pretty good. So now let's execute uh, the strategy to see if it works for us. Let's run it. And as you can see, it seems to work. So that's a very simple example. I had only one higher time frame and my condition is very simple, but I think you got the point that it's extremely easy to work with higher time frames in the back trader. I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.